Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you exactly how much money developers can make from Roblox. Okay, so before I show you exactly how much developers make on Roblox, I have to go over something really important. It's called the Developer Exchange. The Developer Exchange is a way for Roblox developers to exchange their hard-earned Robux for real-life money. So these rates right here are exactly how much you'll get for the specified amount of Robux. So if you earn 100,000 Robux from Game Pass sales and dev product sales on your game, you can exchange that for $350 in real life. 250,000 would be 875, 500,000, 1,750, etc. Now, we can always look at this diagram to figure it out, but I actually found another way that we can calculate exactly how much these top Roblox developers are making. And the way we do that is we take however much Robux they earned from their game. So let's say they earned 100,000 Robux from Game Pass sales and dev product sales, and then we just multiply that by 0 0.0035. And that gives us the exact number that will be shown here. So if we do 250,000, and see we have 875, or we could do 500,000, and we get the number 1,750. So we can do odd numbers in here, numbers that aren't listed, and we can calculate exactly how much these Roblox developers are making. So first, let's take a look at Adopt Me. This is one of the top games on Roblox. It's one of the top earning games, uh, and the developers are really making a lot of money. So I just wanted to show you how much they're actually getting from this game. So we're going to look at the Game Pass sales for this video and do our calculations based on that. This is just like three-fourths of how much these developers earn because there's always dev product sales in-game. So when people buy coins, points, or anything that's a multi-time purchase, this also goes in and is able to be developer exchange. So this is just going to be the Game Pass sales because it's the only data I have. But just keep in mind these developers might be making a lot more than I actually show you. So the estimate for Game Pass sales on Adopt Me is around 2 billion Robux. Now if we take this number and we do the multiplication, we multiply this by 0035, that gives $8 billion to the development team of Adopt Me. Now New Fissy, the creator, the main creator, the programmer, he doesn't necessarily get all of this money because they have a team of upwards of 30 workers that are making graphics, build, designs, all this uh, programmers, all these other people get paid and their development studio is paying up to $100,000 per year for programmers. So um, not all this money goes to Nufisi, he does have to pay some of his workers, but a lot of it he does get to keep in his pocket, which is really nice. Now the next game we'll look at is Welcome to Bloxburg. And this is a really popular game, but the reason I chose this game rather than another one is because it actually costs money to play the game. So if we take the amount of sales, which is 18 million sales on Welcome to Bloxburg, and we multiply that by 25, because Bloxburg costs 25 Robux to play, this is how much Robux Coeptus has earned from just the pure game sales itself. So if we take that number and we multiply that by 0 0.0035, you see he's made $1.6 million just from the sales of this game itself. Coeptus is an indie developer. He doesn't have anybody else working on Bloxburg with him. So he doesn't have to pay anybody else. So all this money goes just to him. And this is just the sales from the game itself. We didn't even look at the past sales yet. So he's made 2.5 billion Robux from selling game passes on this game. So if we take that number and we multiply that by 0.0035, or 8.7 million plus that other around 1 million. So that's about $10 million Coeptus has made from this game. And he gets to keep it all for himself because he made this all by himself. It's an indie game. Now, the next game we're going to look at is Jailbreak. And I chose Jailbreak because it's a game that just blew up overnight. It's a viral idea. People really liked it. And a bunch of people bought game passes for it. So let's take the past estimate, the sales again. And we'll multiply this by 0 0.0035. And $7 million that the developers of Jailbreak actually made. Now, they might have graphics artists or other people on the team, but for the most part, Jailbreak's development team just consists of two guys, a programmer and a builder. So if we divide that by two, if they were to devx all this Robux and split it between each other, they're walking away with about $3 million each. 
Now, you can make a lot from a top earning game, a top game on Roblox, but it's really tough to actually get your game on the front page. You can always put a lot of hard work into it, but if you don't have ad money or you don't have a good way to advertise your game, you're not going to be able to get it on the front page. So, I figured we should really take a look at a smaller game, and I chose Pastries Bakery for this one because if we look right now, you'll see they only have 257 people playing right now. This is a pretty substantial number, but it's not as big as the other games that were on the front page we were looking at before. Uh, they only have 4.6 million visits, which is a lot, but it's not as much as the other games. So if we look at the store, once again, we're just going to be looking at Game Pass sales and not point sales or any dev product sales. They made 3 million Robux from this game, from Game Pass sales. That's an estimate. So if we take that number and we multiply that by 0 .0035, $10,000 from a small game like this. This game probably they had to put a lot of effort into it, but for not having a front page game, $10,000 from something like this is really good. So Roblox is a really good platform to get into developing if you're looking to make some money off of it because they host everything for free. You don't have to pay for servers. You don't have to pay for so many of the things that with other platforms you'd have to pay for. And they give you a really easy platform to use. So if you're looking to make a little bit of money and you're a programmer, I suggest getting into Roblox because it's a great way to do so. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about developing on Roblox, and I'll see you later.